Hi, Mark. Let me take off myself off mute first. Our recording oh. is on, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Alyssa. Thank you. Good morning. So recording is live and I've got to get the agenda up on screen. We did just have a Jenkins security release and it looks like it's going good, but it's a dramatic release and important and people need to be sure they install it. So that communication went out, um, et cetera, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, just a minute, let me bring up our notes for this meeting. Excellent, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. All right, so here's what. Okay, so November 4, 2021. Okay, adopt a plugin. We talked last time about DevOps World, probably not much more we need to discuss there. Correct. Um, I think I'd like to do a brief summary of Hacktoberfest just to be just because we just finished it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see other topics. Oh, upcoming events. And that's probably the big one, right? Because we've got yeah. to talk about uh, FOSDOM and scale and mm -hmm. et cetera. Yeah. Okay, so just a minute while I put that into the agenda. Okay. All right, then scale. Ad, ad, do we have? Is it okay if we put advocacy budget again on the on the agenda? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Hello, Jean Marc. Hey, hey, Jean Marc. I've seen you somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Sorry, we're just assembling. I'm just assembling the agenda now. So. So I'll put it up on the screen here shortly, and then we'll. I, I saw some lights and got in, thinking that there were, there was some some food to be have uh, or <laughs> anyway. So I, I we mentioned it during the 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 talk we had earlier in the week. So I found the reference to this, and just popped in. So I don't know if I'm at the right place, but at least I can learn. <laughs> Very good. That's great. You are in the right place. Thank you. So I'm going to share this session is being recorded. This is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach meeting for the 4th of November 2021. And uh, thanks for being here. There we go. Did I, and I got the spelling correct, didn't I, Jean-Marc? Big win. Yeah, correct. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay, so topics I had on the agenda, adopt the plugin initiative, Hacktoberfest summary, upcoming events. Anything else that we need to add to the agenda? Um, Mark, I'd like to share um, an, a latest update for Jenkins is the way. Oh, ooh, good, yes, all right. Let's put that first, Alyssa. That sounds okay. actually very interesting. Good, okay. And uh, anything else that we need to add to the agenda? I don't, none for me. Okay, all right, great. So then I'm gonna mute my mute myself and let's have you talk to us about Jenkins. Okay, um, so we have collected so many stories and every month we have been, um, forking out at least 10 new user stories a month. Um, so we figured, okay, there's a lot of great content here, but what other things could we do to, um, to give it more lifeliness to, to this campaign? So what we came up with was um, a map, and let me put that in the well, if I can share my screen, see if I can share my screen, share screen. Oh, it's odd. Let me share, oh, hold on. This doesn't look right. So let me um, put a link in the chat window. This is not yet live. Um, 
but I'm going to share it here. I'm going to put it in the chat window. There you go. Um, so basically, what we did was we we plot the a global map with what people say about Jenkins. So if they click on an icon, a Jenkins icon, they would be able to see um, who says what, and it links to the case study or the user story. Um, so that, that's our latest project for Jenkins is the way at the moment. So if you click on one of those um, icons, Mark, then you it'll pop up. There you go. The title, the story, the location. We didn't want to, we just was very general with regards to location. So it's just, um, you know, state or country, um, city. But, but yeah, that was, that was the point, just, just to give it a visual of the stories that people have submitted and the people that are using Jenkins and what great things they're saying about Jenkins. Um, so I will be writing a blog. I'll be posting a blog to share this um, in the near future. But that's 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 it. That's the latest project. That's beautiful. That thing is yeah. great. So yeah. so I can I can wander around and look for people near me or people. Okay, off in 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 Germany. Oh, that that's that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you. All right. So, so, but you say it's not yet live. Um, it's, not, I haven't not, really promoted, promoted it. It's there. Yeah. It's there. Visible on the site mm -hmm. uh, and a blog post coming soon yes. to announce it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. That is great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> and so you're okay if I paste this URL into the, into sure. the chat window or in, yep. not into the, into the, uh, into the notes. Into yep. the report. <laughs> great. Okay. So at there, there we go. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much. Anything else, Alyssa on Jenkins is the way that you wanted to share. Nope. That's it. Okay, next topic for me then is we've been doing an adopt a plugin initiative. Uh, what we did, what we started with DevOps World 2021 workshop, uh, contributing to open source. CloudBees funded the development of that workshop. And what we discovered was, hey, there are some reusable things that we might be able to do. So then as part of that Hacktoberfest uh, 2021, five-part video series yeah. uh, with Darren Pope on modernizing a Jenkins plugin. Very useful videos. Well, and, and thanks very much to Darren. He is, he is just amazing. Five hours of live coding, watching somebody do small, comprehensible steps that make real improvements to plugins and and that can be applied to many many of the 1800 plugins that are available for Jenkins so so these are useful things that a new contributor can do without a lot of burden on on them so really great we've also got a, a preparing a tutorial series a developer tutorial series with Diraj uh, Singh Joda for www.jenkins.io. And it will embed the videos and uh, simple steps, one page per uh, step. So think of it as a tutorial that is optional and has 20 plus steps in the tutorial, you could choose any path you'd like through the tutorial pretty much. Great. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that and and now now this is the this is the the nice thing, which is we've seen our first plugin adoptions 
from the program. Uh, Mods, Mods Jacobson has adopted a plugin, and we've got two or three other plugin adoptions that have happened in addition to the plugin adoptions that I did and that Darren Pope did as part of the part of the exercise. So thanks very much. And Jean-Marc, thank you for being yes. willing to start down this path as well. Yeah, exactly. I'm 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 preparing myself to jump into cold water. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much for being willing to swim. That's great. Any questions on Adopt a Plugin? Okay, next, next topic then, Hacktoberfest. And here we've got a blog post that shares the how we're doing, how we did. Event is complete. And crucial things included new translations, French, and our first Jenkins logo as a woman. Thanks very much to, to Bertha Torres uh, as part of her work in the Duchess France organization. Thanks also to Thea, who did one for the Republic of Georgia. Uh, and we've got plug-in docs migration, security improvements, sponsored by Vadek Folonier, uh, a member of the Jenkins security team. And Angelique Jard has created a nice Jenkins architecture diagram series. It's actually two different diagrams. This diagram is wonderful for the things you can understand about Jenkins by looking at it. Very, very kind. And yes, our modernizing Jenkins plugins series. Nice. So very, very pleased with the results of Hacktoberfest. Uh, see the blog post. Mark, perhaps we can share that with uh, CDF. Oh, yes. And, and in fact, we did share it with CDF. Oh, okay, okay. I a... thought if we haven't, then I, I, I'll, I'll take uh, the, the duty to do that. Well, and, and if, if, you can, if you want to do further with it, please go ahead, because I think... I think there's much more to, to highlight and to trumpet about, about what we did in Hacktoberfest. The CDF did ask for the list of top three contributors mm -hmm. uh, to Hacktoberfest. And I provided them a list of six or seven individuals that I had extracted mm -hmm. as, as strong contributors to Hacktoberfest. Uh, also, Alyssa, you've, you've confirmed, I think, that you're willing to, to provide swag to Hacktoberfest contributors and I've yes. given you names and email addresses. <laughs> How is that going? So swag pro progress process, is it going to work? What's your sense? Yeah, so it should work. Uh, I'm, uh, so the list has been sent off to our vendor. So now they are doing the back end work. They need to set up a web page where people, recipients can go in it select their sizing and then input their their um, contact information, delivery information. And so once that is done, then it gets shipped out. So we're anticipating a 40 days turnaround. But yes, the list is with our, our um, vendor at the moment. So, and, and in terms of confidentiality, recipients provide their information to the vendor, but it never actually comes back to us. I'm okay Correct. with that. I'm cool with that. Good. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Unless you tell me we want it, but no, no, I, I, I in fact do not want it. So that's, yeah. that's great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't want it either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. So it's just purely for delivery. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Here's to, here's to GDPR compliance. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. All right. So, and, and thanks. Special thanks to CloudBees for yeah. for sponsoring uh, that that those awards. I I think it's imp it's amazing how much we can do for retention by shipping a T-shirt to someone yeah. who 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 did something like that. They they develop all sorts of positive positive feelings about the project. And hey, these people sent me a shirt. I I contributed a little. As, Maybe I'll contribute more as mm -hmm. as a recognition also for for the work. That, yeah. that has been done yeah exactly thank you thanks very okay so now the big one i think for us to discuss is upcoming events <clears throat> yeah 
So, uh, so Fostum, um, February 5th to the 6th. So that's going to be um, virtual. And Mark, I see you see you, you have it there that Olivier is, is still going to run the, the dev room. Yeah, that, that's his plan. Yes. Okay. He said that, that he continues with that plan. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and I will work to set up our virtual booth. Um, so so um, as once we get closer to the date, then I'll be running some content across um, you both and probably this SIG to make sure that I have all the content um, covered for us. Great. Well, and, and Jean-Marc in particular, if you think of ideas of ways to generate traffic to the booth, uh, yeah. maybe tweet, Twitter posts, tweets that we do, or a LinkedIn post to encourage people to come visit us, and then some, some possible awards, you know, hey, come talk to us, ask three questions, and we'll, we'll physically mail you a sticker, something like that. I, I mean, I, I'm not sure we're ready to do t-shirts. They're too expensive. It, our, our past mm. behaviors where we would sell t-shirts at this event. Right. And I guess I should ask, Alyssa, do we have the facility again to sell swag items if we wanted to? I'm not sure that the conference is interested in allowing that. Yeah, I think the challenge will be the process of collecting the money. Right. Okay, good. So Especially cross-border is, is going to be... Well, yeah. Very getting getting taking a credit card securely no thanks it's that's yeah, not it's, worth it's, it it's just not worth the hassle yeah it's, we'll, we'll it's a rabbit off. hole in in yeah. person makes more sense right. right right we'll we'll save it for next uh, for the following year very good yes back in brussels next year yeah excellent all right then scale scale 19 yeah, so scale is March 3rd to the 6th. It will be in, so same place, which is in Pasadena, close to LA, uh, Los Angeles. And it'll be in person. Uh, before COVID, we had Jenkins pipeline training. So we need to decide whether we want to do that again. So then I can reach out to the organizer and re reserve a space for us for the training. And then um, we will also have a booth, which we're there pretty much every year that the event is in person. And and I'm assuming that you are you likely to be able to be there, Alyssa? I would I intend to be there physically. So yeah. yes, Mark and I, Alyssa. I'll be there. Um, and and we are we certainly would welcome others from the community. Mm -hmm. especially local to that area. There are lots of um, local to, to that Los Angeles area. There's certainly lots of software developed in that part of the world. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Any other items on upcoming events? Jean-Marc, any that you're aware of or Alyssa that you are? No. Not at uh, this stage. Still yeah. need to collect information and see how, how the scenery is going to be after COVID, because we're absolutely there's a COVID wave going, going on here in Europe. Okay, so then, Alyssa, you want to talk briefly about advocacy budget? Uh, is there anything that you're comfortable sharing publicly or? Or is this just looking for proposals of ideas of ways we could help? Yeah. So um, right now, it's just I'm working off of a clean slate. So meaning I need to plan for next year's budget. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm taking suggestions for what we want to um, sponsor and or programs that we campaigns or programs that we want to do for next year. So, um, so that I can include it in my budget ask um, for Kyle Bees. Um, and so, so I was going to offer some things that are on my mind just yep. to put in the notes here, if that's okay. And, yes. and then let's, let's just, so there's one is she code Africa. Yeah. Um, contribute on. And there, what we, what we need is $5,000 
to was what they charged Sinewy last year to to join the program. That was that was a that's a crucial thing. And then we also need, and this is the more difficult one to recruit, uh, mentors to support the uh, projects and projects that project or projects <clears throat> that are interesting to the uh, and feasible for a one month newcomer. Mark, do we have a timeline for that? Like, um... uh, yeah, likely March, okay. uh, March, April. I think if I remember right, March was their launch last year and April was the, uh, the actual running of the project. They do that so that they avoid collision with Google Summer of Code. Uh, and, and it's important that they not collide, hoping that some of, their, some of their, their candidates may actually also be eligible for Google Summer of Code. Okay, great. There's another one, which is Linux Foundation Internships. And uh, or maybe we should call it internships. And then let's talk about which, which ones, and I'm not sure which of these will be best suited. So Linux Foundation has an internship program. It's about $6,500 per intern. It gives three months for the intern at $2,000 per month. So they pay the intern $2,000 a month to work on a project. Uh, in order to do that kind of a project, we need the project. We need uh, mentors yep. to support the project. And so some of the topics on my mind there are getting rid of Yahoo UI from Jenkins, getting rid of prototype.js from Jenkins, getting rid of some other outdated uh, old components as a way to three months of an intern work on a serious project that will help Jenkins a bunch and also give them professional development experience. Yep. So Mark sending proposals probably this week uh, to various people. So Mark, the 6,500, so it, that's, it's per intern. How many? So just for my budgeting. So my ads. my rough dream is I would love to have three interns. I don't I think just, I don't think we could support we more than three, but I would we, I would dream of having up to three. Because we need a capacity to mentor them. Exactly, and and mentorship, mentor mentoring is hard work, right? Mentoring yep. really requires some dedication to to mentor, and it's it's not free. So. It's not free to the engineer who does the, the mentoring. And so up to three is my dream. I don't yet know how many will be approved. I've got to check with CloudBees Engineering to see if they're willing to, to fund. If not, look in the community to see if somebody else is willing to help, that kind of thing. Okay. And similarly, Outreachy has a program that they do that is also three months. It's about $5,500 per intern. Uh, and again, it's three months at $2,000. And really calling them interns in this case is more, this outreach's focus is on underserved communities. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas Linux Foundation, I think is more focusing on new new contributors to open source, but is less concerned about targeting underserved communities. Uh, and it's the same idea for Outreachy. We would use the concept is we'd use one or the other, but probably would not use both. So I don't know which of those yet. I've got to do some more exploring. Mm -hmm. So Who do we also- recruit? Sorry. No, no, go, go ahead, John Mark. No. Who's doing the recruiting of the interns? Uh, that actually for Linux Foundation and Outreachy, they handle the recruiting. Right. Okay. That's part of the that's part of the extra five hundred, if you will, is covering their costs to do the recruiting and to do the promotion, the evaluation, etc. Okay. And this is a worldwide program. It is. Yeah. So right. 
this Linux Foundations is definitely worldwide. I believe Outreaches is also worldwide. And then who pays for the uh, $2,000 per month? So that's, that's whoever the sponsoring organization is. So that would be the Jenkins project. So in other words, somebody's budget has to pay it. And in this case, we've done it from Jenkins project before, budget before. I think it might come from your budget if I can persuade CloudBees that it's it's a good investment. Mm -hmm. That's that's my intent is to persuade CloudBees that this is such a valuable thing to do. We should invest both for the community benefit and for the benefit to Jenkins as a project. Mm -hmm. So did did that answer your question, Alyssa, in terms yes. of the funding? Yeah. Yes, it does. Thank you. Yeah. So so that was my intent here was to sort of forewarn you that I'm. I'm thinking that, and I'm going to start a discussion with internal people at CloudBees about this one to try to get alignment both from the who should be the mentors, what should be the projects, and which of these organizations should be our, our hosting organization for the, the effort. They both, if I recall correctly, run May to... May, June, July, I think it is May to July 2022, if I remember right, for either Outreach or Linux Foundation internships. So those are the those are the items that I know about. And Alyssa, I'll keep you, I'll send you email with proposals, etc. as we get as, as I go forward this week. Okay. Sounds great. Any other items for today's session? Uh, Google Summer of Code, is that part of uh, internship or is it a separate? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good topic. So it's not part of advocacy budget because okay. it's free. However, planning for Google Summer of Code is a lot of work and we should start the planning for it. So that's, that's a very good, very good topic, Jean-Marc. Thanks for bringing it. Okay. Because we need to add what is the minimal uh, uh, um, uh, coaching capacity we need and what is the maximum and that we make sure that because this will be the most expensive resource to absolutely to get. well and and there are there are lots of complications hiding in this one because exactly. our 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 most our the last mentor lead that we had was Cara de la and she's now stepped away from the Jenkins project and Oleg Nanashev and Oleg's still continuing, but probably not available to involved at the depth that he was in past years. So we've got to find leads to run it. We've got to find capacity to coordinate it and yeah. projects to, to that are interesting to students, promotional efforts, all sorts of things. Yes. Right. So this is a, an important block to put in the calendar. Yes, right, exactly. To, yeah. Well, okay. and and say November is is a good time to begin our active promotion because by January, February we will have, or maybe promotions the wrong way. November is a good time for us to begin our planning and preparation activities because January, February we will already have students asking. Hey, what are the projects I could get involved with with Jenkins? And what are the project ideas that are out there? And who would the mentors be for those project ideas? So, so it's right. Okay. It, this you, is the right season. You probably understood that I'm at least available to help and learn, and uh, well, at least put my brains in arms to help to move that ahead. So. Excellent. Yes. Well, and, and we, we may ultimately end up begging you to take the lead running the program. I have no idea. We've got, we've got lots of work that this thing hides and it does yeah. lots of great results for the Jenkins mm -hmm. project. I mean, five completed projects last year, six completed projects the year before four or five, the year before that we get, we get great results from this, this program. Right. Yes. So Yeah, so th there's there's lots to do, lots to learn there. Yep. All right. Oops, wrong button. Hang on. 
You don't need to see me clear data there. Okay. Any other topics for today? I, I, I don't have lots to offer on Google Summer of Code other than that we it's it's time to, for us to get started and we things right. things there's administrative things like administrative i assume that we will again be part of cdf and that the pattern will follow as in last year where last year cdf was the umbrella organization five of the six projects that cdf had were jenkins projects right Okay, so at least it's already on our, on the radar screen. We just need to focus the image and get more. Right. We've more well, and and we've we've got to got to be sure that we're aligned with CVF that they're still that they're interested next year in doing it because if they said no, we're not going to do it, then the Jenkins project runs it themselves. Right. We we, we want to be in there if it's either through CDF or by ourselves. All right. Any other topics? Nope. Okay, let's call it a done session then. Thanks everybody. Yep. Recording will be posted hopefully within 24 hours. Thanks, Mark. Thanks everybody. Okay. Thank you. Have Bye. a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.